Paul's ex, Alyssa Violet, opens up about her Logan Paul hookup. Plus, Logan's friends give their honest opinion about him wanting to fight in the UFC. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life, starting with Will Smith. Yeah, mega movie star Big Willie is blowing up on YouTube with his new channel and is basically doing Donald Glover's career, but backwards. Also, instead of using a UTV to jump over his SO, he's challenging Liza Koshy in hydrofoil surfing. Hydro what? Nick, are you just making up words again? On to Logan Paul's BFFs, Mark, George, and Johannes. They gave their two cents about LP wanting to fight in the UFC, and let's just say they're keeping it very real. He's my boy, I will take you to the grave. But my man, you're tied with KSI. He's like, <laughs> chill out. We make stupid, funny videos online. There's a huge difference from going, ah, 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 like and subscribe. <laughs> make sure you buy our merch to, hey, I have a broken nose and a failed kidney now. But I'm going to go I'm train. still going to go to yeah. train. An honest friend is a real friend. Also, that Logan impression was like pretty good. Like and subscribe. But okay, to the Jake Paul series part Infinity, Shane revealed this part would be a departure from the rest because of the lack of tea. Terrible quality tea. Yurt. However, it's probably one of the better parts of the series as we see Jake just live his life and learn a lot about him through his girlfriend, Erica Castell. Hey, wasn't she just on the AMAs with Taylor Swift? Just kidding. I'm joking. She actually seems pretty amazing, judging from Shane's interview. Anyway, the real news, Erica reveals Jake's entourage and the people working at his mansion all live with him basically for free. It's mentioned Jake does not like being alone, which to me at least, adds on to the family drama that's heavily teased in the series. Shane also continues to say there has been a ton of off-camera conversations that are so heavy he's not sure he can even discuss it in his documentary. Heavy shit. Interestingly enough, Shane feels so comfortable with Erica and Jake, he decides to let Erica in on the secret that Katie is actually a therapist and not a producer. Although give my girl producer credit because her reactions in some scenes are totally relatable. Also, Jake's dad, Greg Paul, gets mentioned a few times and it's revealed he lives with Jake and his presence affects everyone in the house and it's not always for the better. Shane and Jake later speak again and agree to have a one-on-one -on -one interview at his house the next day. When Shane goes back home and decompresses from all the new info he's learning, the waterworks start to kick in. And I'm basing it on what she said about him because she knows him best, right? She said that she doesn't think anything's off limits. You know, where she was like, I think it's okay to ask. And so the way that I would approach it but I would say I noticed like you shutting down. It reminded me very much of like my own experience. No? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sad. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm like, I... Uh, ha. What the fuck? But okay, just when you think you would be tealess, Shane drops an anvil of a teaser showing a clip of Jake Paul's ex, Alyssa Violet, speaking about the Logan Paul hookup. We texted after and we were like, I was like, please don't ever like tell Jake, I don't ever want this to get out, like it was so stupid. And he was like, listen, like, I'm a savage, I'm a maverick. Oh. Wow, this documentary series is not doing any favors for Lolo. But all right guys, click to subscribe. Let us know in the comments if hooking up with your siblings ex is lit or stupid. I think it's stupid. Nick thinks it's lit, he's done it before. He has like 12 girlfriends and they're all his brother's exes. It's so weird. I don't know. He like is so team Logan. It's so weird. I'm team Jake. Jake. Okay.